Today I'm going to show you how to select and put up a simple bird box. The first thing to do is decide which species will benefit most from your bird box. So goldfinches, greenfinches, blackbirds, long-tailed tits, they build their own nest. And even the robin, although you can buy nest open nesting boxes for robins, mine seem to find their own place around the garden quite happily. So the birds you're thinking of are those that would normally uh, build their nest in a crevice or a hole in an old tree. And those are the sites that we're short of in the garden. Now, for us in our garden, that means blue tits, great tits, and maybe coal tits. They're our most frequent garden visitors. And today I'm going to put up a bird box that's suitable for a blue tit or a coal tit, because its entrance here is only 27 millimeters across, which is the size they like. If you wanted to attract a great tit, you need to go for a slightly larger size, about 32 millimeters, because they, they like a hole that's big enough but only just, so that the bigger birds, the more predatory birds, like the woodpeckers uh, and the magpies, can't get their heads in and steal the young. Now this is a nice deep box, so the chicks will be right at the bottom for added safety. But if you are concerned about that, you can also buy um, metal plates that go over the entrance here so the bigger birds can't peck a bigger hole. But again, make sure it's the right size. Now your bird box should have um, some means of opening it um, so you can clean it out each year. And this one's got a nice side opening like that. Uh, it had, should have some ventilation to stop it overheating uh, in the summer, like the holes in the bottom here. And the best place to site it is about two meters off the ground in a site that won't get too hot and where the rain and the wind won't blow into it too badly. So for us, that's either north or east. Um, and there are several ways you can attach a nest box. Um, for example, this one has holes in the top here and you can thread some rope through it like this and tie this around the trunk. Um, but I'm a bit nervous of these and you must check it every year because each year a tree will in increase in girth uh, and you've seen from a tree ring you know when it's cut down how, how much that can be each year so that rope will tighten and tighten and form a sort of ligature around the trunk which can damage the transport of nutrients up and down the trunk and if you're using wire then I would really be threading that through some a section of hose pipe or something around the back here to make sure that doesn't happen so really I prefer just another method which is just to bang a nail into the tree and this, this tree box has a very helpful little slot at the back here to hook a nail onto. But uh, it's best to use an aluminium nail for this, which does the least damage to the tree. It's nice and soft um, and it doesn't rust. Um, and if at any point that nail is left in the tree and later you need some tree surgery, it, aluminium is not damaging to a chainsaw blade. So it, it's a good choice. But I know from experience that you won't buy those at your local hardware store. You have to send off for them but they're fairly easy to buy online from a wildlife specialist um, business. So uh, my next job is just to pop up there and hook it on its nail. You can, of course, put these up on the side of your house, but it doesn't really matter what sort of nail you use. It just has to be a, a masonry one, and you won't need to check it so often because obviously the house is not like a tree. It's not a living thing. So just line up the slot with the nail. And there we are. Lovely. Now the best time to do this is in the autumn, so the birds get used to it over the winter. The second best time to do it is now in early spring, when they're just about to start scouting around for new nesting sites. 